First off, I want to congratulate South Carolina. Um, a fantastic team, um, well coached, well deserving of their number one seed. Um, um, and obviously, they've had a great season. So we knew it would be a huge challenge for us on the road. Um, have, having said all that, um, I felt that uh, I felt we played well. Uh, we came into a tough environment and competed. Um, uh, you know, Savannah McCaskill is is uh, the most dynamic uh, attacker that we've faced this year. I feel, and I felt that we did a for the most part a good job of. Uh, at least trying to contain her. Um, so I thought our, our back four on our goalkeeping uh, did a great job with that. Um, you know, once we went down a goal, uh, I was pleased with how we responded. Felt we uh, we created some opportunities in the final third. Not at the end of the day, not enough, obviously, but um, I think we uh, gave ourselves a chance. And uh, a minute to go in the game, we're getting corners and and putting a little bit of pressure on, but uh, just wasn't enough today. Questions for the student athletes. Uh, for either one of you, uh, what was your all's game plan against someone like Savannah McCaskill? Um, I think that it was just to stay tight on her and just always, I guess, be aware of everything. We knew that she was dynamic. We knew she was going to be making runs. We knew she was good at dribbling, and she was their uh, leading scorer. And um, I think that our game plan was just to stay with her and watch her, and she did a I guess a good job um, holding, but um, I think we did a great, great job as well. So, can either of you talk about play late in the game? Like your coach said, you were kind of getting a little momentum and pushing forward a little bit, and kind of what was that looking like out on the field? Um, I mean, we just kept pushing it as a team. Once once they got the PK and scored, we knew we had to keep going. And if if we were doing well in the defense. Uh, in the attack, we just we needed to focus on keeping the ball and getting to goal. And I mean, we got chances, but in the end, we couldn't just put, we couldn't put them away. Questions for Coach Sanchez? If not, I got I got one more. You, go ahead, Andy. You guys were last in the Pac-12 last year. You move up to second this year. Just talk about the improvement, differences between last year's team and this year's team. Well, thanks for leading me into my statement. I was going to make Andy. I think it's I think it's important to, for maybe maybe some of the people here don't understand that we yeah we finished last place in the Pac-12 last year. We were picked preseason tenth. Um, um, we lost quite a few players uh, to graduation and so forth. So um, the only te the only people that really probably believed in us um, outside of my family um, and our and our, my awesome coaching staff and our administration support was really just these young ladies. And I think it's important to understand that these six seniors bought into everything um, that we asked of them. And we talked to them after the end of the last year, like, how do you want to go out? How do you want your season to go? And um, all coaches, it's coach speak. And But I'm, I, I don't say anything I don't mean. And I couldn't be more proud of this group of seniors for leading us into the second place and we feel the toughest conference in the country. Um, and uh, coming on the road in a tough environment and competing, and um, I don't think anybody expected that. So, like I told them after the game, they've they've left a legacy um, of, of of excellence and expectations for us. And we've been here before. It's not our, our first rodeo, but after last year, there was probably very few people thought we'd be back here. So I couldn't be more proud of these six young ladies. They're fantastic people, um, and um, I wish nothing but the best for them going forward. And, and Whatever they need the rest of their life, um, they ever need anything from me, they can call me 24-7. They know that, and I, and I will be happily do whatever they need because they're just they're great young ladies. Kind of staying with that a little bit, you know, particularly in the first part of the second half, you all controlled the run of play, and then obviously they go on and get the gold. How did that change the complexion of everything in the match? Well, I thought our, our game plan was going was going okay. I thought we were containing their players. We're starting to get a little bit stretched out, but when the game started to get stretched, I thought it was creating more room for Emily and Danica and some of our attackers. Um, so we were okay with it. Um, I think once uh, South Carolina got the goal with about 15, 16 minutes to go, obviously we pushed more numbers forward um, and created more. But at the end of the day, there's a reason they've given up, what, eight or nine goals all season. They're, just, they're tough to break down, um, and their keeper made the save or two that she had to make um, when push came to shove. So um, a, a deserved victory for South Carolina, but um, I felt that we gave ourselves a pretty good chance to get a result tonight. 
you you called her one of the do- most dynamic players you'll play against all year. Playing in such a good conference, as you said, what makes Fanny McCaskill so different? Well, she has lots of goals and lots of assists. Um, but I think really her movement off the ball, um, I think that she finds good pockets of space. She's not one-dimensional. Um, she makes great runs. Um, and uh, like I said, she, the, the, her move, when you watch her on film, her movement off the ball is fantastic. Having said that, Michaela, Alex Vidger, Aaron Greening, uh, Kelsey, and, and Joss, who played in the back, I thought they did a great job. Um, if you really look, I don't think she had a clear opportunity, and she didn't really have a clear final pass. I'm, I didn't really see what happened on the penalty who, who crossed that, but um, I, I thought that we did a good job there, just, just didn't quite have enough uh, going forward. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.